I'm Maya Argamon. And I'm Lindsay Dula. We're with the California Native Plant Society in partnership with Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, here to talk to you about caring for and maintaining California friendly and native plants. I like to say the best thing you can put on your plant is your shadow. Spending time and observing your garden is the best way to prevent and diagnose problems before they arise. In most natural gardens, you will find a balance of beneficial birds, insects, and other creatures that keep any pest in check. Most pest and disease problems are caused by over or under watering, poor plant selection, or planting location. It's always important to continuously monitor your garden, and if a problem arises, find the source. Maybe it's an imbalance in sun, soil, or watering. Or it could be a pest like fungi, bacteria, or rodents. Is it one plant or multiple plants? Once you find the problem, choose the best method that will impact the rest of your garden the least, and then evaluate the effectiveness of your method over time. Weeds should be removed before new plants are planted. If pre-planting weed removal isn't feasible for you, be prepared to battle with weeds until your native plants become well established. Once established, native plants do a fairly good job of discouraging weeds. There are many methods for removing weeds, including mechanical, biological, and chemical. Researching the types of weeds present will help determine which removal method to use. For example, gardeners successfully control weeds by hand pulling, cutting, grubbing, or mowing. But some weeds will need their entire root removed to fully eradicate them. A thick layer of mulch is a great way to keep weeds under control. When mulching for weed control, the mulch layer must be at least three inches deep. Shredded cedar seems to keep more weeds out than most of the other barks or wood chips. You'll probably always need to allocate some time pulling weeds in your garden. Take these maintenance activities as an opportunity to connect and engage with your garden. And don't worry, over time the weeding will get easier. 